Here is knowledge. You may eat of its fruit. This is third grade stuff. Third grade stuff. Etimon. Etimon is to a word what Adam is to the building block of anything else. Anybody, anywhere around the world, any scholar, doesn't matter no, what language they're dealing with, right? Know these rules. These rules are not taught to our people because we've held to servitude uh, caste. The language that we usually use is called connotative linguistics, which is introduced into societies where people are held to servitude so that their own language traps them. Exactly. That's Do you what understand? I'm talking about. Now, and I That's agree. What I'm talking about. So it's important to under. This is why I'm telling you. The reason why I say Oxford, because all scholars around the world. They have all the dictionaries, but they particularly have Oxfords. Now, because Oxfords always, by rule, go into the etymon, whereas some of your lighter or cheaper dictionaries don't, will give you classification, you will give you classification and will give you bracketed etymon, but it will be limited. Now listen. Now this is a rule. Now look at this sign there. No, no, no. Wait, no. I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a simple rule. And this is what we was talking about. Like, um, I can take a dictionary, an ordinary dictionary, right? Laws of hardcover and before 1960. Right. And take a child. As a matter of fact, I could take a a, 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 a child third grader if he's decently educated. They don't have to be smart. Right? And just ask them, how many parts of speech are there? Most adults wouldn't answer, but a child said there are eight parts of speech. Then we tell the children, what is it that other children learn that our children don't learn that makes our children have the disadvantage? Which is why we talk out of frustration instead of the facts. Because we're, we feel attacked. Do you understand? Because we're missing a part, right? Now, the first thing you do when you look up a word in a proper dictionary, is you go to the part of speech which will come directly after the word, which will be abbreviated or either written out in italics. The first thing you do with the word is, is plug it into its proper mother or matrix. That's the first rule in linguistics, grammatication, orthology, morphology, ETC, all over the planet. It ain't some European stuff and don't apply to Africans because we gave it to them. Those are rules in language. That's what I'm talking Third grade about. grammar. Now, so the first thing you do when you look up the word black, right? You want to see right after it is going to have A, D, J, which means what? Adjective, which means it's not a noun, which means it's not a person, place, thing. Wait a minute. Not a person, place, thing, or idea. First classification. Then it gives you the etymon right after it in brackets, in square brackets. It'll be O, E, which means old English. Then it'll have derived from, oh, listen first. I'm listening. I'm just saying. Oh, let them learn if you're not going to learn. Oh, high German. And in its original form, it means pale. Okay. Now that wait a minute, wait a minute, let me explain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Repeating now scholars make right. now no, scholars know these things, which is why they have secret societies, and you have people in power positions, whether they're boule, that means guys on our side, or Europeans that are blue house masons or York masons, etc. They all know these same rules, but the dummies are given belief systems of what you call connotative linguistics. Connotative linguistics is really is where they introduce what you would call uh, uh, stepchild definitions that that in language and contract are absolutely off the mark and will cause failure, but are accepted loosely in communities. But in law and in standing and in contract, you would fail all the time. You understand? Right. Which makes us incompetent. Right. Now. Black is an adjective. It's an old English word. So then you go to the appendix of any dictionary and it'll take you to the 1400s, which means in that form, in that form, it doesn't go past the 1400s. So all scholars know when you go past 1400s that that word in this form does not exist. Okay. Are we clear? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me say it.